Hey everyone, this is Munmun. Welcome to my channel Educational Talk with Munmun. Now let's talk about today's topic. Today I will tell you about simple future tense in details. First I will tell you when do we use simple future tense. Then I will tell you the rule or the formula of it like how will you make sentences using this tense. After that I will give you some exercises to do. So when do we use simple future tense? See, future means a time period that will come later. Means that did not happen or that is not happening now. That will come later. Okay? See, here in the time period you can understand. Past. Past means the action or the time which is spent. Present. Present means the time we are spending now. And future means tomorrow. Means the time we will spend later. Now see. Past means you can say yesterday. Means the time we spend. Present now. And future tomorrow. So simple future tense. We use simple future tense to talk about an action which will happen later. Okay, like I will go to there tomorrow. That work or that action will happen later. And we use simple future tense for prediction of events. Like we will win the match. I am thinking that we will win the match. So this is my prediction. Okay, in that cases also you can use simple future tense. Now I am showing the rule of it. See here, rule. First subject, then will or shall. Plus verb, V1 form. Remember V1 means present form. Plus objects, plus others. See, when the subject is I or we, at the time you can use self. And when the subject is not I or we, means except I and we, you can use will. Okay? See, here are some examples. Your gift will reach on Wednesday. Your gift, your subject. Then will, this is helping verb. I have used will as the subject is your gift. It's not I or we. So I have used will. Next which V1 form. This is helping verb. And on Wednesday this is others. Next one. I shall go there day after tomorrow. I this is subject. Self. I have used self as the subject is I. Okay, this is helping verb. Go, V1 form. See verb V1 form. Go. There, day after tomorrow. This is others. Day after tomorrow means I will go there later. I will do that action later. So this is why it's simple future tense. Next one. They will come tomorrow. They, your subject. Will, helping verb. As the subject is they, I have used will. Then come V1 form. And tomorrow others. So these are the examples of simple future tense. Now I am giving you some exercises to do. Rewrite the sentences using simple future tense. So here the sentences are not in simple future tense. We have to change it. First one, I am going home. So subject is I. I am writing I. Then Sarah will, it will be self, right? So after I self, I self, then go. V1 form, right? Go. I self, go, then home. Next one. We buy chocolates for them. So your subject is we. After we, it will be self. So we self. Then V1 form buy. Buy. Then chocolates for them. Okay? Next one. They play in the ground. So they your subject. They. They. After they it will be will or shall. Will. They will. Then V1 form play in the ground. They will play in the ground. Next one, John is talking to him. So, John is subject. 
John. Then after John, it will be Will. Okay? So John will talking. So V1 form is talk. John will talk. Then to him. Okay? Next one. Ria and RV brought vegetables from market. So subject is Ria and RV. I am writing it here. Okay? Then subject is Ria and RV. So helping verb will be will. Will. Then bring brought brought. Bring is B1 form. So I will write bring. Then vegetables from market. So this is simple future tense. I hope you like the lesson. I will come with another video. Till then take care of yourself. Be safe. Bye bye.